What if your next cruise ship vacation could save the world? That's precisely the idea behind the upcoming superyacht Earth 300. It's big, it's bold, it's where science and luxury meet. Powered by atomic energy, courtesy of its onboard molten salt reactor, this incredible vessel is not only environmentally safe, it is intended to inspire an interest in climate change while doing real-world experiments at sea. Who's funding this nerd's playground? Well, that's where the luxury side of this super yacht comes in. A 10-day voyage will cost $3 million. Who'd have thought sipping champagne while traveling the seven seas could actually save the world? But with the Earth 300, it can. As you can probably imagine, a luxury yacht of this scale, size, and which harbors such incredible ambitions is not going to be cheap. Earth 300 executives have tallied the books and estimate that this futuristic seafarer will cost an estimated 300 to 5 million pounds. That's 709 million dollars, folks. Hey, no one said science was cheap. So, who's funding it? Aaron Oliveira is the mastermind behind the project. Believe it or not, he wasn't always a science guy. He got his start and made his money in sales. In fact, he's worn quite a few hats in his lifetime. He was also a restaurateur, property developer, and a capital raiser for luxury yachts. So what got him interested in all things science? Apparently, in 2010, Mr. Oliveira saw the damage that was being done to coral reefs in Maldives while he was trying to build a hotel in the area. It completely changed his perspective. Which brings us to the mission statement of the Earth 300 project. The goal is simple get the world stoked about the dangers of climate change and inspire people to do something about it. The Earth 300 has even been touted as the current generation's Eiffel Tower or the Olympic torch of climate change. In an interview with Science Focus, Mr. Oliveira stated, it has been designed to capture people's attention, but also their hearts and imaginations. If we want to make big, bold changes, we need everybody's help. And we mean everybody, all ages, backgrounds, and even all types of intelligences. Lofty goals for sure, but honestly, with the Earth 300, we think he just might do it. Here's what you'll find on the ship. Designed by Edis Yachts and led by architect Yvonne Jefferson, the Earth 300 will be the size of a cruise ship and will house 22 laboratories. At 300 meters long, it will comfortably house up to 450 people, which Mr. Oliveira hopes will include scientists, environmentalists, students, patrons of the sciences, and even the occasional billionaire and their family. There will be artificial intelligence, machine learning, built-in sensors, robotics, and the world's first seafaring commercial quantum computer. And all of the information gathered will be open source, meaning it will be shared with the world free of charge. The highlight of the boat is for sure its 13-story science sphere. It's both awe-inspiring as well as practical, a visual representation of the beauty of science and technology. Oh, and did we mention that this boat is nuclear? Well, it is. Earth 300 will be a zero-emissions vessel powered by a molten salt reactor. But don't worry, the reactor is being built with the utmost care to ensure that there will be no mishaps and that it is completely safe. The power source has been touted as a nuclear power pack. And check this out, it's based on technology that was created by fellow billionaire Bill Gates' company, Terra Power. If you haven't heard of Terra Power, it's sort of a nuclear innovations company that was acquired by electronics manufacturer Little Fuse in 2012 for $10.6 million. So when will we see it? Well, as with all things, good things come to those who wait. And so far, there's already been quite a bit of waiting and there is still some waiting to do. So far, it has taken Mr. Oliveira six years and over $5 million just to draw up the plans so that the yacht can be constructed. As of right now, there is a tentative launch date of 2025. But get this, certification of the nuclear reactor will take between five and seven years. So the plan is for the Earth 300 to initially run on synthetic green fuels. Hey, you can't mess around with nuclear power, folks. Gotta make sure it's safe. Now, here's where things get a bit interesting because Earth 300 is a bit more than just a science vessel. It also doubles as a luxury yacht, which will offer patrons incredible voyages out at sea for a price. 
Oh yes, one of the main ways that this boat will be funded is by offering a truly one-of-a-kind experience for those that are able to pay for it. There are slated to be 20 VIP luxury suites, all aimed at the ultra-rich. If you want the 10-day cruise package that includes one of these suites, be ready to pay $3 million for it. But hey, we want to be clear here. This is not just a business venture for Aaron Oliveira. He has been very vocal about how Earth 300 is not a toy for the rich. In fact, he was quoted as saying, it is really an opportunity for the wealthy to contribute to science and participate in science. This is not having a billionaire in a bathtub sipping a glass of champagne. Other incredible amenities include a breathtaking observation deck, which is meant to give the scientists and tourists alike a place to chill out, enjoy the scenery, and maybe even network. A helipad located on the foredeck, as you can imagine, will allow for not only travel to and from the vessel as needed, but will also allow for more exploration in the surrounding areas than would just be offered simply by the yacht alone. Oliveira has gone on to say that 80% of profits for the Earth 300 would go back into environmental causes. Add this to the fact that Earth 300 is a scientific project that is open source and will be constantly sharing its findings with the rest of the world free of charge, and we're inclined to agree that this isn't just a pretty product intended to produce a profit. This is the real deal, a luxury liner that will be doing actual science. And it's been no secret just who Oliveira wants to take on a ride in his super science vessel. He has his eyes set on the environmentally conscious billionaires of the world, mainly Jeff Bezos, worth $187.1 billion, Elon Musk, worth $151.8 billion, and Bill Gates, worth $126.4 billion. All these net worths are based on the Forbes real-time billionaire list at the time we produced this video. To these men, a $3 million ticket wouldn't even put the slightest dent in their bank accounts. And given the fact that they are all planetary vanguards, we gotta say, maybe Oliveira is onto something. Set the environmentally conscious billionaires of the world up on a luxury liner with all of the top of the line scientific instruments that are currently available and have the money you make go back into helping climate change. Hey, well done, Mr. Oliveira. Well done. Hey, getting excited about the idea of emission-free transportation? How could you not be? Before we go, we want to let you know about one other incredible emissions-free project out there that is currently being produced by Toyota in Japan. Their hydrogen fuel cell powered car, called the Mirai, will cost just $50,000. Honestly, this is way less than hydrogen cells used to cost. Things sure have come a long way. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. It really helps us out here so much. And if you haven't already, click subscribe so you can be alerted when more great content goes up all about the wealthy and the well-off. We will see you next time right here on The Richest.